Yep. I was just going to say, uh, that's a weird way to end it. I mean, what the fuck? Okay. Three, two, one, let's jam. Okay. So the whole government shutdown thing, it's... It's fucking retarded. Here's the thing. The Republicans are whining and bitching about Obamacare. They're already saying it's a failure because, well, the computer systems, they've glitched up. But that's the same thing that happens whenever you have a massively mon multiplayer online game start out the first day. They're going to fix the damn glitches. But here's the thing. Obamacare would not have passed if Republicans hadn't voted for it. It's the law of the land. You can't fight it. It may be repealed later on, but right now... It's the law of the land. Deal with it, fucker. I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, me, I mean, me and my stepfather, who we don't see eye to eye on a lot. We get along, but we don't see eye to eye. But when we were watching the news about the government shutdown, him and I had the same exact opinion in that Democrats and Republicans are acting like children. They're acting like six-year-olds. They're like the little kid jumping up and down. Mommy, I want to go on the merry-go-round. I'm sorry, but you can't go on the merry-go-round. I want to go on the merry-go-round. It's just, it, basically, basically, I don't think it really has, and from you mentioning, you know, the truth, you know, the, a Republican, there was Republican involvement in getting this passed. I don't think it has anything to do with a disagreeing with the policy or even, you know, any empathy towards the common man. It's just... It's just another example of Democrats and Republicans. They don't get along, so they're going to have this centuries-long battle over whose dick is bigger and can come the farthest. <laughs> oh, God. Simple as that. It's like, I can understand the people being pissed off about the effects in the long term, because that's what pisses me off about it. I mean, you got all these people who are on welfare and things of that nature who don't pay any bit of money towards this stuff. I'm on unemployment right now. I have to lose money. I'm looking for a job. I really am. And yet these fuckers, they don't work a damn day in their life. And they live off the government and get about three times as much a week as me. You think about that for a moment. Because I see a lot of these fuckers. They, they have very, very poor health. And it's the stuff that they bring upon themselves. I see my ex-girlfriend. She's on welfare. She's got three kids and she likes to do meth. Smoke pot. Well, I don't find weed all that bad, but... Think about the money being spent there. <sighs> and she does all this horrible, horrible shit. Her kid's gone to the hospital several times because of her stupidity and inability to raise them as a child. As a mother. And she doesn't pay a single cent into the system. So obviously I think it's going to have to readjust over time. You think about that. But the fact of the matter is, is that they're whining and bitching. It's the law already. It is the law. You like it or not, it is. That, yeah, that's the fact. I fucking hate it, but it's the law. You can't I can understand, bitch about it. like, if, 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 it, if it wasn't passed into law and they said, well, we don't like this, so we're going to shut the government down or whatever. Not really shut the government down, but, you know, have an actual debate over it. But they decided they're not going to take it. They didn't really decide to take any real actions until it went into law. They probably were just sitting around going, oh, it's never going to be approved. Because in their Republican mind, they, I don't know. Yeah, um, plus... Yeah. It had Republican involvement in order for the damn thing to pass in the first place. Now, let's go back to the people's favor on both parties. You look at the last four years in particular. Both the Democrats and the Republicans have committed political suicide. People are losing faith in both parties. The Republicans with this shit, and the Democrats with the Dianne Feinstein assault weapons ban. And then talking out their ass, acting like they really knew what the hell they were talking about. You look at the mass majority of the guns that were used during the first assault weapons ban, which did absolutely nothing to change crime rates. None of the guns on the top used guns were also on that list of guns that were in the assault weapons ban. You look at the guns used nowadays, you don't see AK-47s in the list of guns that the criminals usually use. The only time you have somebody with a fully automatic assault rifle, or in fact it wasn't fully automatic in Sandy Hook or any of these other shootings, it was semi-automatic, is when you get a psychopath who decides, I'm bored, I'm going to kill somebody. And they decide to go on a ranting shooting spree. And another thing, they always pick the no-gun zones. So there's a failure there. The Democrats committed political suicide with this, and the Republicans committed 
political suicide with the shit that they're going on now. Both sides believe that the American people are in their favor. I find that to be complete bullshit. People are losing faith in both parties. But I'd have to say, for the most part, the liberals have more faith. More people have faith in that simply because that's their brand of wanting to think. I think I, I believe I, I agree. I, I I definitely agree, and I definitely think there is a little. There's still more faith in liberals, simply because you have a choice between no guns and the gays can't get married. Gee, you know, it's like hmm, you're gonna, you know, in this kind of day and age, it, they're gonna lean towards guns because you know. Because a gun isn't going, because a gun isn't going to uh, uh, be get their heart get their heart broken if you tell tell a racial epithet at them. But yeah, we're, there is a lot of lost faith in political parties. I mean, there's still a lot of people out there who you know will fight to, for their Republican or Democrat to the hilt, and those people are just out of touch. They they really are, and I think I it's going to get to a point. I'm hoping. I am so hoping. I'm hoping humanity is smart enough that it's going to get to a point where Republicans and Democrats, they're going to destroy themselves, and nobody, and nobody's going to vote for them anymore. And they're going to say, "Hey, you know, there's Republican, there's Democrat, and there's all these other parties we never even thought about." The Constitution Party. There's one. You, got, you also got the uh, the Libertarian Party, which is all, which is another. You got the Tea Party. Party. Yeah, you have the Socialist Party of America. Yeah, it really does exist. And you have the Communist mm -hmm. Party of America. Yeah, it also exists. There are plenty of choices that you can choose from here in America, but yet we only think about the two main ones: the Republicans and the Democrat. Ah, pfft, the Democrats. And you look at what a lot of these guys are. They're really just Democrats or Republicans in name only. I mean, you look at Dianne Feinstein. What was that you said about the Crypt Keeper? I said, I don't remember, but it definitely had Crypt Keeper in it. That's all I remember. I didn't know the Crypt Creeper was in Oh, yeah, politics. I said the, the, Crypt, the Crypt Keeper was a Democrat. I didn't know the Crypt Keeper was a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, she really does look like him. It's like she calls herself a safety and a advocate in gun safety, yet to show the most evil gun in the world, she had an AK-47 with a short barrel and a folding stock with a drum mag. She had the safety off her finger on the trigger and it was pointed towards the audience. If a range officer was there at the event, he would have had his fucking... He would have blown his fucking head off out of how pissed off he was seeing that shit. I'm a safety and advocate on gun safety. Points gun at the audience. Finger on trigger, safety off. You know what? You gotta give her a break, okay, Mark? You gotta give her a break. After all, she is decomposing, and you gotta cut her some slack. <laughs> oh, God. And she's also the same bitch who thinks that it's perfectly legal for you to be spied on without a warrant. <laughs> yeah. But she's fucking nuts, and so are a lot of these other guys. They're only Democrats and Republicans in name only. They like to pick and choose what parts that they will present as what needs to be done, and they'll fucking lie about it. They'll only pretend to do that so that they can gain power, so that they can feel like they're wonderful people. These are the same assholes you hated in high school. You know, the brown nosers who would suck the dick of a teacher if it meant getting a slightly better grade and being class president. Don't you get to that aura sometimes? Hey, you there, man? Huh? You there? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. It's like you just kind of zoned out for a moment. That's all right. Yeah, the these politicians being the same people you hated in high school, the guys who'd suck the dick of another teacher in order to get class president. Yeah. I mean, doesn't it seem like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not we the people anymore. It's us. The, it's us in charge now. That's all mm -hmm. it is. It's always some power hungry fucking high school and you know who they are everyone knows that there's a power hungry asshole in high school and you can usually identify them just by their overall attitude <sighs> and that's the vast majority of politicians nowadays and you look at the people and you look at the ones that aren't these things and usually they'll get made out to be complete psychopaths when fuck they're it, not the fuck, psychos fuck it. what was it what was it a uh, deep like the guy, last name Dean, I forgot his first name. Howard Dean, I think it was. The guy got, the guy was, the guy didn't, the guy got 
no chance of winning in the 2004 ele election for simply just going, ha! The fuck, I remember that guy. <laughs> All right. Now, one last thing I want to mention here now. It's a really, really old argument that's pretty much died here. It's the Obama-Hitler thing. Obama only really has two things in common with Hitler, and that's that he's a fascist. I mean, that's what this whole fucking healthcare thing is. You're being forced to pay for it. It's either that or an extremely large fine. People don't have the money for either. Though at least the mass majority of the people. That, and for the first term, he had this overwhelmingly psychotic fucking fan base that if you said one thing about ad about him they'd want to kick your ass they'd scream that you're a racist <laughs> and just all this other stupid shit that's really all he had in common with hitler this small amount of fascism and he's not near as much of a fascist as hitler was nowhere near he couldn't hold a candle to it and the fan base the fan base which has pretty much died by now but people are still calling him the fuhrer and all that shit I think that's disrespectful to Hitler and Obama. The thing that, like, like it just, in general, it just bugs me when any comparison between a current president and Hitler. This basically started in George W. Bush's administration. You know, they didn't like, basically, basically now it's a big thing where if you don't agree with somebody's policy, or basically, or usually all, you, all it really takes is being a part of the opposite party, you're going to be compared, that president is going to be compared to Hitler by said opposite, opposite party. And it's like, Really? Is are they as as somebody who's Jewish? Did they are they killing? Are they building up in, uh, death camps for 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 various people? Are they? And the thing about Hitler, okay? Hitler deserves a lot more credit than this. Hitler, when he got when he put himself into power, essentially, I don't think any I don't think he was ever voted. I think actually he he declared himself chancellor or something along those lines when the last one died. But people loved this guy. There was no, there really was barely any opposition because Germany was in a bigger wreck than America probably will ever be in after the effect of World War One. And so he took the country Hitler. and he made it great again. Exactly. And look what Obama did. He claimed he was going to do this. What happened? Black. The thing was, though, Hitler. Did, the thing was, Hitler got the power he did. To do the things he did because he did make it better for the German people, the people that he saw as the superior race. He didn't make it better for the Jews, but for the, but for the people that he, you know, supported, he made it better for them. Because before Hitler got into power, Germany was a fucking cesspool of filth. <laughs> I can see America going downwards, but I can't see it going that far downwards. Also, another thing, another thing to mention. When Hitler, before Hitler got into the, to power, Germany, get this, was never a democracy. So if Hitler was taking away anybody's rights, how are they to fucking know? They never, had, they really never had that many rights to begin with. Well, Hitler also enacted some uh, gun control measures that changed the world. It was the one of the first countries to have a open registry of people who own firearms. And then he was also one of the first countries to completely ban them. Or at least in the last hundred years. And you see what happened? If every Jew had a revolver with five shots and the will to use all five shots, Hitler would have been a little known footnote in history. Most likely. No, that's how I always look at things. I mean, you look then at... Again, the, but then again, the way I see it is if they didn't enact gun control, they would, you know, Hitler didn't... Hitler was... was Let's let's be real. Hitler was an out, outright tyrant, and what and what it said, well, if you're well, if you got a golden star on your little vest, you can't own a gun. You could have just simply did that. Well, the fear was that if anybody rebelled against him, anybody, so it wasn't just the Jews, the evil J words. You look at well, every... Jews were like, well, thing was, well, you got a point there. Jews were the primary victim of his of his discrimination, but they weren't the only ones. You had the homosexuals, you had blacks, he hated blacks. You had anybody that was that didn't fit into his catalog of of the Aryan race, the superior race. And those who fell into the category were a very few. 
And yet we don't see Obama doing any of this crazy shit, trying to send people to death camps or anything of that nature. Yeah, how about, this, how about this one for you? Yeah, Obama, first black president, majority of black communities, still in slums. <laughs> oh, shit. Truth. Truth. And it fucking hurts. And there's slums for a reason, and that's because those individuals don't want to get out of that type of lifestyle. Like, I did a video recently on this uh, woman who had uh, ten kids, six of which were adopted. And the news to tried to portray her as, oh, she was a wonderful individual and that she tried to teach them good morals and values. Here's the thing. She was also a rapper. She called herself Miss Atlanta. You listen to her song and you look at the pictures that she had on her Facebook, like one of which had uh, a guy pointing a gun to this chick's face, like, bitch, if it wasn't for the good pussy, uh, I'd kill you or something like that. And she sang about taking your man and uh, cheating on her man with your man. Stupid shit like that. Really? Yeah. Anyways, we gotta call this video off. Alrighty. Th we, yeah, we already got through all the points that we needed to. Alright. Anyways. Hope you guys liked it. Nice one, guys. Have a good one. Okay, stop.